All right, Edward Pivos with MLive. I'm at Motor City Comic Con. It doesn't get much more Motor City than this, everybody. Alice Cooper back in town. Welcome. And uh, gosh, you know, how often do you kind of get back home? And what are some things that, uh, you know, you miss when you're not in Michigan? Yeah, you know, my, all my cousins live here. And uh, my, my whole family, Royal Oak, that area. And I was born right downtown, yeah. Saratoga Hospital, which they called the Butcher House. <laughs> And now it's, I think it's a mental hospital or something. <laughs> but uh, I've been Detroit all my life, you know. Uh, it's still the hard rock capital of the United States. All the great hard rock bands came out of Detroit. And uh, you know, it, it's when I come back here, it's really, I do feel at home. I live in Arizona. Uh, we have a place in Arizona and in Maui, but it couldn't be more opposite of Detroit. Yeah. But when I get to Detroit, this is still the hardcore fans. I mean, you know, I always tell people that New York, LA, yeah, but Detroit is the rock and roll capital. So, this is something I'll never do. I see if you can describe this for me. You know, you're you're back home. You're just taking the pie knob stage. You know, you have a sea of people in the pavilion and in the distance on the lawn. What is the feeling right when you take that stage? Like, is it? How can you describe that to me, for somebody that's never done it and never will? I guess. Yeah, I think it's the adrenaline takes over. It doesn't matter if you have a toothache, it doesn't matter if you have the flu, probably COVID, you could still do a show. You know, because the adrenaline rush is so, and especially in this show, where there's something happening every second. Nobody just stands there and plays. It's, it's going on for two hours. So you better know where you are on that stage <laughs> because there's things coming through. There's a 14 foot Frankenstein coming through, you know, and things like that. So it's impossible to get bored with the show. And when you get that audience that knows every song and they know every lyric, it's like throwing gasoline on the fire. So, you know, it's it's the it's the high point of the day, and, and it never gets boring. It's awesome, and you have a lot of fans here. Take a look; they're waiting to see you. So we're going to wrap this up, and uh, a lot of memories too. Fans probably share a lot of uh, concert memories or. You know, just listening to your music and everything, I assume, right? Well, what happens is when we get in a town, we have a hotel, we get on the stage, and then we leave. So you never have a one-on-one. -on -one. This is the only time when I have a one-on-one -on -one with fans. And everybody's got a story. Everybody's got, there's 30 albums, so it's a soundtrack <laughs> for their lives, you know. Uh, so I sit there, listen to the stories, go, wow. That, you know. <laughs> Amazing. All right, everybody. Alice Cooper, Motor City Comic Con. Doesn't get more, much more Detroit than this. Motor City, Michigan right here. Alice Cooper.